welcome to another vlog and happy sunday if you are new here welcome to the channel if you're a returning subscriber hey girl what's up what's good what's popping um i'm just out and about and i figured i should pick up the camera and get this vlog started i am super don't don't mind my eyelashes look at look at my lashes don't don't even mind my eyelashes um but i just left the glow bar and i got a facial there that's why i look so like hydrated the skin is plump it's giving what it's supposed to give um yeah but that's the reason why i didn't get my eyelashes done because i knew i was going there for a facial and rule number one don't get your lashes done before you get a facial because that's just stupid um but yeah i'm gonna have to put my glasses on or something because this looks crazy the girl who did my facial she thought these were my real lashes i was like girl no these lashes is just sparse and need to be done <laughs> they're extensions but um yeah just up there the experience was super super cute it was so nice and clean and aesthetically pleasing the staff was great the facial was great um the girl her name was erica who did my facial she was super inform informative and like you know as she was like going along she was telling me about everything and just like it just felt good so i'll definitely be going back there um i want to bring kaylee she said that they do like preteens and teen facials too um they kind of just customize the facial to your skin like they don't have like specific facials that you book like when you're making your appointment they just assess your skin at the time of your appointment and then they go from there they you know give you recommendations and tell the tell you what you need and they basically only provide what you need which i kind of like and it's super affordable my friend Sashi had gotten me a gift card to try it out. So shout out to Sashi because if it wasn't for her, I would have never gone there. Um, like I said, I really, really liked it. I didn't vlog the experience because I wanted to make a TikTok of it. So if you want to check that out, head over to my TikTok and I'll put the video. Maybe I'll just put the TikTok clip. I don't know. Maybe I'll add something here. Maybe not. If you don't see it here, follow me on TikTok. You can find my TikTok information in um description of this video but i am about to go into crate and barrel and just see what i bump into because i don't need anything but so i'll bring you guys in there with me once again i'm vlogging on my phone because my camera is just like honestly the camera is just a hassle to carry around it, it really is i need to come up with a better solution or maybe i need to get another like smaller camera to actually like bring out and vlog with because it's just too much especially when you're trying to um shop somewhere where you don't got a shopping cart like crate and barrel how am i going to hold the camera and look at stuff and do all this at the same time i don't have kaylee with me if i had kaylee then i'll just have her do the oh i look crazy look y'all my edges is all messed up from the facial like her putting the like headband around my head i just a mess lashes crazy let me get my glasses on before I forget and walk in here looking like a hot mess. Um, I also went in Home Goods. I saw a really, really cute rug in there that I want to get for my bedroom. I'm trying to slowly do like a bedroom makeover, but I think I want to just get all of the items that I really want and then just do everything in one video in one day and do like a full transformation. Um, so I'm, I want to start picking things up just like here and there. I'm not in any rush to get it done, honestly um i just get in these moods where i start to get bored with things and then i want to make changes to my house or my bed like different areas of my house i just get in these moods and right now i'm in a mood with my bedroom i'm like i need to like revamp this i need it to look new i need it to be refreshed i need it to feel good so i am gonna slowly start picking things up for the bedroom and i want to get that rug but news i got a new car <laughs> And I don't have an SUV anymore. And I was in there about to purchase the rug. And I'm like, I have no way to get this rug home. It's it's not going to fit in my car. So um, I'll either have to get RJ's truck and come back and get it. Or have her come down and pick it up or something like that. I had the boy in Home Goods take the rug down, roll it up and everything. And then I realized, I was like, I can't get this rug home. So um, I should have just paid for it and had them hold it. But in the moment, I was just like, I got to go. It was almost time for my appointment at Glow Bar. So I was like, I'll be back. I'll be back. Um, I'm not, I don't want to just like not get the rug. I still do want to get it. But I just got to figure out when and if it's going to be today or whatever. They had two of them. So I should be fine. 
but yeah that was super funny that i went there and like really thought i was about to purchase that rug and was like girl where are you gonna put that rug that was super funny but like i said she also put this um balm on my lips from glow recipe they're doing like a little collab she said or something she gave me a 20 percent off coupon to buy the lip balm this lip balm is it is so good and it's like it's thick but it's not sticky and i love that that's the difference between um like the not the difference i have the fenty lip mask and I like using that one at night, but it's super, super sticky, but that's fine because I'm putting it on to go to bed. But like when you're out, I don't like those sticky like lip balms um, to wear during the day. So this is a really good one. I might check it out. I think the coupon was for 20% off. I may, percent off. I may, see. I may order one. I don't know. I'll see. I got a lot of lip balms, honestly. But my favorite, the Joe Malone um, Vitamin E lip balm, it's not glossy like this. Um, and I've noticed that because it's like, I think it's like oil-based, like the vitamin E. Um, it's not really that great to use in the summer. Honestly, it's really, really hydrating. I do love it, but your lips will burn so quick when you have that on. Um, so I think that's just going to have to be my winter lip balm, unfortunately, because like I said, I do really, really, really love, love, love that lip balm. But I also bought the Super Goop lip balm balm with spf for vacation and i liked it but you have to keep reapplying it like every five minutes so i just left that in my travel toiletry bag i'll just use that on vacation because it did save my lips from getting burnt which usually happens um so it did do the job but you just got to put it on every five minutes like which is annoying so i got my joe malone that's gonna be my winter balm i got the super goop spf balm that's gonna be my travel lip balm but now i just need like a regular everyday lip balm so y'all drop y'all favorite lip balms in the comments lip balms not lip glosses i have tons of lip glosses i'm not a lip gloss girl i don't like wearing lip gloss on a day-to-day -day. i only wear lip gloss if i'm going out i love a nice hydrating balm that gives like a little like you know your lips look moisturized but they're not You know where your lips look moisturized but there's no color there's no tint just clear basic lip balm drop your favorite in the comments because i need to try some new ones clearly i might just have to get this glow recipe one but i would like to at least explore my options all right i'm talking too much i'm going in create a barrel i'll see y'all in there I want a new smeg so bad the one i have is like that um oh this is so pretty this espresso let me show y'all i really really like this fruit basket the one that I have currently just isn't big enough. So I'm thinking about getting this. This is so cute. We have this one too. That's cute, but I like the other one better. How cute is this? So I wanted to buy this, but then I realized it doesn't have a lid. And I also feel like I could find this on Amazon for under $25. But it is so cute. We'll see.
right, well, I didn't get anything at Crate and Barrel. I did really like that fruit basket. Like I said, the one that I have at home, it's um, small. It doesn't even hold that much fruit. Like if I put bananas in there, they're like falling out of the top. It's, it's just too small. So I should have got that one, but I don't know, $70. I seem, I felt like it was a lot, but it was like super heavy. It had like marble at the bottom, which would match my um, kitchen island perfectly. I probably should have just got it. I don't know. I'm gonna think about it. I have to come back out here to get the rug anyway. So I'll make up my mind by then. It was really, really nice, but I didn't get anything. So now I am about to go to um, a tire place in Stratford near home um, because I want to get black wheels, black rims, whatever. I don't know the technical term. I want the wheels to be black. No. Yeah, I want the wheels to be black. It's the wheels, right? The wheels are the rims. Is that the same thing? I don't know. Somebody help me. Um, so I just want to get a quote for that. See how much that will cost and see what the options are i went by there yesterday but they were closed already so the ladies told me to come back today between 11 30 and 3 30 it's 12 13 right now so she better be there um so yeah we're gonna go do that and then i guess i mean i gotta see if rj has anything to do today or if she has plans um but if not i'm gonna grab her truck and then come back and get that rug and decide on <laughs> if i want that fruit um basket stand thing or not. Hey y'all, happy Tuesday. Um, I just want to hop on quickly and unbox all of this stuff that I ordered from Amazon with you guys. I haven't really done anything today other than work and do lashes, my regular, regular. If you've been around for a little bit, you kind of know during the week, my life is very um, blah, boring to say the least. I don't do anything <laughs> during the week besides work and do lashes every once in a blue. I sprinkle in a little bit of razzle dazzle here and there, but there really don't be much going on. Um, but yeah, that was basically the gist of my day today and yesterday was just work and lashing. I did some laundry. I cooked dinner yesterday. I cooked dinner today. Um, that's really it. I've just been kind of just like taking it easy this week. Like that whole camping trip kind of just like when you're forced to not do anything, like you literally have nothing to do. Like you wake up, you're not at home. There's nothing for you to clean. There's nothing for you to do. And you're just chilling like it just felt so good so i'm just kind of like still in that flow right now so i've been just taking it easy not doing the most just keeping it real simple real basic and i love that for me but anyways um i want to open up these packages with you guys quickly um so let's do that let me get the scissors i need to get one of those um cute little box cutters that all the girlies have. Because these scissors are just like not fitting the aesthetic. All right, let's see what we got here. I ordered, most of this stuff that I ordered is like stuff for um, my car and then I ordered like a couple other little random things. I don't even know what half of this stuff is. Should I just unbox everything and then we kind of go through it? That's probably the easiest way to do this. Let's open everything up. Literally just like a bunch of small little things. What is this? I, I don't, I just be ordering stuff, y'all. I went on TikTok and I was like, I looked up like TikTok car find, I mean TikTok, Amazon car finds, 
I went on a couple of people's Amazon storefronts just to see what they had and I was like just clicking on everything. Like, ooh, buy now, buy now, buy now, buy now, buy now, buy now, buy now. Like, girl, do I really need all this stuff? No. Should I return it? Half of it? Probably. What is this? I, this stuff looks so off. Okay, I know what that is. I know what that is. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Oh, this is a cute little sticker that I got from Glow Bar. What y'all be doing with y'all stickers? Do y'all like stickers? I'm a sticker girl. So I always pick up stickers when, especially when they free. <laughs> yep, definitely taking one. I got one for me and Kaylee. Okay, let's go. So at this point, I'm just chatting. This is my mom texting me about something that's not even important at 8.39 at night. What is this? Oh! Oh my god, so cute. Oh my god, and it comes with labels. I didn't even know that. So, um... My friend Erica recently moved into a new apartment and she had these super, super cute um, syrup dispensers. And I was like, oh my God, like I need those, duh. And I was thinking about getting them to replace, I don't know if you guys can see, I have these like really big ones here. I was gonna use them to replace these, but I actually do like that these are big because when I get the bottles to that they actually come in, it's like I could dump the whole bottle in here and just be done with it. Where those small ones, you have to like keep refilling them. So I got these. It came in a pack of two. So I was thinking I can use this to put my regular syrup in like. This syrup, which <laughs> I don't have really much left of. I think I could put the regular syrup in one and then I can put my agave in the other one. Or I could put my honey in one too. Maybe I'll order, so maybe I'll order one more set so that I have three for syrup, agave, and honey. But these are the little dispensers and they came with these labels like all different coffee flavors it looks like i'm not gonna yeah all they're all coffee flavors that's cute and it also came with this that i probably won't use or maybe i'll use this somewhere else in my house because it's like so t the bottle don't really fit on there oh i guess it does it came with this little uh coaster for them to sit on which like i said i'm not gonna use so that is cute. That's the first thing. Make sure I got everything out the box. Because I'm good for throwing away the box. And I still got something in it that I need. That's that. The second thing I got is this, I guess you would call it like a tripod extender. I don't know what the proper name or term is for this thing but <coughs> you basically put this onto your tripod and it allows you to connect two things instead of one so I put my camera on one and I can put like a light that I have on the other side so I thought this was super cool I saw um, Amina use this and like recommend it in one of her videos and I was like uh duh I need that hello Add to cart, buy now. So I got that. Let's see what's next. Let's see what this little thing is. A little car trash can it's silicone which I liked because you can just literally wash this out like put it in your sink and just wash it with your dishes it has a little push tab 
and it fits right in your cup holder. That's that. Cute. Love that. Sorry, the OCD in me is making, is requiring me to break down these boxes as I'm opening this up because if I just push all these boxes to the side, my brain will start to be like, I'll start itching, basically. I also got these little, oh god, I didn't know it was this many. These little cosmetic bags to put in my car. One for like, um, I keep lotion, chapstick, sanitizer, wipes, perfume, deodorant. I keep all of that and more in my car. And then also like my car stuff, like my car wipes, my car um, freshener spray, my little car scent things that I get from Bath and Body Works. So I got those for that. Pretty self-explanatory. I know y'all seen those before. People use those things for everything. This is the thing that I pulled out and I was like, what is this? Because it looks like it's closed, but now I remember what this is. These are microfiber wipes, not wipes, microfiber cloths that I bought for my car. And I got them in this color because they match my car. So cute. So I got these to keep it in the car. I'll probably just keep one in the front and then put the rest in the trunk. Oh my God, I came with so many. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I came with a pack of six, and you guys can see. And they're pretty big. They're not like the really small ones, so I like that. So I'll put those in the car. This is, I'm sure you guys have seen these too. I've been like seeing them all over TikTok. They are screen um, cleaners slash sprays. I have to look at this because let's read the instructions okay yeah so it comes in this plastic container for it and then it has this so you can fill this up with water or glass cleaner um fun fact you shouldn't use glass cleaner to clean like your computer tv car just like screens and stuff because over time it can ruin your screen or your display um, so I'm just gonna put water in mine but yeah you put this in you have that oh. no that's backwards okay you put it in then you can squirt and then this is literally like covered in microfiber so you can literally use it to clean your screen like once you spray squirt squirt then you can spray I mean then you can clean your screen with this and this little plastic keeps it safe so that's cute i'm gonna give this other one to rj for her um car screen because her screen um the display in her car is also like really long and large and if you have fingerprints all over it and that drives me insane so i'm gonna give her one i should probably order another i should probably order another set of those for my computer like to keep in the house my computer the iPad that we have over here. Why is this open? See, I told y'all my brain be like, little stuff be like, just taking control of my brain, making me lose focus. Oh, I ordered these little mesh cosmetic bags too. I knew I had ordered some, and then I went back to my Amazon order and I was looking through and I'm like, Oh, I didn't order any cosmetic bags, so then I ordered those ones that I showed you guys before, but I knew I had already ordered some. So these ones are mesh, and they're like shaped like this. And it comes with three different sizes, so large, this is the large one, medium, and then a little small one. I might use these. Well, I'll see what, how everything fits and what works out best. 
I'm not gonna return these. These are things like we could always use. If I don't use them, Kaylee, RJ, one of us will get use out of them. This is just like something that's handy to have. And also because this is like five dollars or something like that. Yeah, this is the okay, those are cute. Next up, I got these, which are little cup holder what would you call these these are like why can i think that's because it's 8 49 at night and i be tucked in the bed my brain is shut off i should probably just pull up amazon right that would be the smart thing to do then i could tell y'all exactly what these things are and all of these things will be linked in my amazon storefront which is always linked in the description of all of my videos so if you want any of these items or want to check them out look at them whatever look at the reviews you can go to my storefront and they will be there okay your orders <coughs> what do they call these cup holder coasters there you go so these just sit in your cup holder and prevent from like any if you have like any spillage from drinks me i drink a lot of iced coffee and hot coffee in the car and you just never know sometimes a bump you gotta swerve skirt skirt and then some of your drink spills out this kind of catches it for you and these are silicone also you can throw these in the sink wash them with your dishes so i got these they came in a pack of four i'll probably give two of these to rj or maybe i'll put two in the back seat two in the front i don't think anybody's gonna be sitting in my back seat but you never know i'll see i might I'll see how generous I feel tomorrow. Put the Bath and Body Works to get car scents and I used their room sprays as car fresheners and they were like two for something or whatever. What did I do? I got RJ one. Like that girl better be super, super grateful for me, you know? Okay, I got a new, I don't know if you guys can see this because it's white, but I got a new silicone camera cover. The one I have on now is brown and I'm tired of looking at it. So I got a white one. I kept going back and forth on if I wanted a white or black one, but my camera is white, but the um, grip is black. So I was like, oh, maybe I'll get black. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll get white. So I'll probably end up ordering a black one as well, but I just ordered the white for now. I'm tired of looking at this brown one. Dang, they don't want you to open this. Next, I got, <coughs> I don't know what is making me cough. It feels like something's in my throat. Oh my God. How does this work? I don't know. I got these silicone covers for my AirPod Max. Are they AirPod Max or AirPod Pro Max? I don't know. My over the head AirPods. I got these little silicone covers for them. Then it has a cover that also goes on the top strap of the AirPods. So. I thought that was super cute that you could like switch up the color and also protect um, the AirPods from getting all like scratched up and banged up. So that's why I got that. This little container is actually kind of kind of handy. It's like a white container, but it's like super super flat. I might keep this. I don't know what I need it for, but you could put like wipes in this, or if you have like I don't know. I just be making stuff up honestly. I'm gonna keep this. All right, well, we are almost done. Next, I got these little hanging bag holders that you hang onto the headrest in your car, and then they have these hooks that you can hang your bags on. So you don't have to put your purse like on the floor of your car. And of course, these, I hope they match my seats. They're beige, so they should match, but we'll see. Not going outside now. I'll do it tomorrow. <coughs> and this is the last car item that I got. This is a little brush. 
for your vet to get the dust out. Keep your car vents dust free, especially if you got a girl like me that got allergies and everything be making you sneeze and cough. You need this. This is like two dollars. And this also has like a really cute case. I love that. Except I don't know how to close it back. Oh, there we go. So that's it for the car stuff. And this is the last thing I got. These are just the newer, I don't know if this, I always don't um, wonder like how to pronounce this brand. Is it newer or newer? But I got their um, LED lights that come with the long stands and it came in a pack of two. So that should help us step the concept up a little bit. Make sure our lighting is on point at all times. And that's oh, and these have like cute little controls right on the cord, up, down, on and off. I'm assuming that's up for like to control the brightness of it, up and down. So I will set those up at some point. Like that would be nice to have right now. Like right now when I'm shooting this video, like I said, it's nighttime outside, so it's super super dark. My house is super super dark. The lighting here is not the best. Um, so I am right now using this. Like, this is how it would look if I didn't have that light. It just looks mad dull. And this kicks it up a notch. This is also in my Amazon store. But this, I just literally sit it right on top of my camera, like that, and it works. It gets the job done. But I think these will just make it easier and even better. So that's that. And that is everything that I got from Amazon that I want to share with you guys. So I am going to probably leave most of this stuff right here by my back door because I'm going to put it in the car tomorrow. I'll make sure I show you guys that. I might try to film a little TikTok, like an Amazon car finds TikTok and show all the stuff that I got. May give y'all a sneak peek of the car. Maybe not. I don't know. We will see. I think I will give y'all a little sneak peek of the car. This item is so dirty now. Okay, this I can put in my office. This for the air pads, put in my office, camera cover. The rest of this stuff is all car stuff except these, which I'm gonna wash. I'll put these in the sink. And, oh, this I can put with my as well but um that's it i just want to hop on and show you guys that stuff get those packages opened up and then tomorrow we will get everything set up in the car and all ready to go i have a appointment to get my lashes done tomorrow because who child these lashes look they're they're non-existent basically so they don't look like anything because there isn't anything left but i'm gonna get my lashes done tomorrow i was trying to hold out because i had that appointment at um glow bar so we're gonna do that tomorrow of course i have work regular schmangler i have lashes regular schmangler but do some stuff around the house i need to clean my bathroom and that's really it so i will check in with you guys tomorrow <laughs> all right hey y'all it's wednesday um i just finished working and doing all my daily stuff that i have to do unfortunately because let me open this up so we have some more light okay yes that's better so we are in the car um i brought all of the stuff in here and I am just gonna figure it out. See where I'm gonna put everything. First is this little trash can. I don't wanna put it in my main cup holder console because that's just gonna be in the way. I'll probably put it over here <clears throat> in the side of the door. Once I put everything in place, I'll show you guys. So you can see, oh yeah, I'll keep that right there. Um, 
Next, these are the little bag holders and they match perfectly. Oh, no, they don't. Well, it's close enough. I think I would put this on the passenger seat so I can put my bag on it. Oh, it doesn't really fit that well. Here's my bag. Let me put it on and see if it works. Cute, cute. Kaylee be having her seat all the way lean back like she's a grown ass man. Like, it's pushed way back. The is like she's basically laying down over here, which is ridiculous. Okay, the other stuff that oh, let me do the little cup holder thingies. Let's see, these fit. Ooh. Okay, those fit perfectly. anybody's gonna be sitting back here i'm gonna give these other two to rj for her car I'm gonna put those there for now and i've right now i don't have my um car mount like actually mounted because i still need to figure out i like where it is right now but the suction situation only um attaches to the window not the dashboard but i bought those other like sticky pad things that you put on your dashboard and then attach it so I'm gonna see if I can get that figured out later too. All right, next let's do this stuff. Let me get this organized because this is a mess. I literally just threw all the stuff from my old car in here. So I was thinking I could put like all of my like beauty slash hygiene stuff that I keep in the car in one container and then car stuff in the other container. Let's see. These might fit a little better. Or, I don't know. So I have my Dr. Bronner sanitizer, my little native travel deodorant. I usually keep my little travel toothpicks, but I need to refill this. It's empty, so I'm actually going to bring this in the house. And then I usually keep this filled with tampons but that's also empty I need to fill it up I have just a regular Blistex my lint roller a little travel perfume this is ebony wood from Zara and, uh, and my Sephora blotting paper lotion I don't know if I showed you guys. This is just the way um, hand cream. And I switch these up all the time. And that's it. Everything else is more so like car stuff. So tampons and toothpicks I have to fill up. But that would fit in here perfectly. Yeah, everything fits perfectly in here. Love that. And then for the car stuff, I think we can put it in here. And I just have these um, Zara car air fresheners these smell so good the scent is black vanilla i don't think they sell it. i got these at um home goods like last year i got the car fresheners and the room sprays they had like so many of them at home goods and i racked up i think i probably cleared it out like bought all of them but now i only have i think is it one in here or two in each of these yeah one in each i only have three left and i'm like i want more but i also um use these from Bath and Body Works, which smells so good. I um, get the scent Sun Drenched Linen. So the other day, Saturday, the day I got my new car, I went to the mall and I got new um, like matte black holders. Just because I don't like all that like bedazzle stuff. I like to just keep it simple. So I have one over here on my driver's side and then I have one back here in the um, back seat vent but it keeps falling out because the vents back there are like small so I think I'm gonna move it up here okay but I got those whoop, wow that just fell under the seat okay got it I got my clothes in here and I have a couple of extra oh here they are this is the these are the ones I usually get from Bath and Body Works these are like my favorites I've been using these forever I have those 
this is some car spray that I picked up at like a gas station one day. I had um ate something in my car and the smell oh I had Chipotle in my car and the smell was literally driving me crazy and I was getting gas. I was like, let me just buy anything and I bought this. As you can see, it's still like practically full because I don't use it. Maybe I'll give that to RJ too. And this is just a Bath and Body Works room spray that I use as car freshener as well. This is in the scent flannel. They didn't have sun drenched linen, so I just got this. Uh, this is my easy pass which I need to find a way to attach this back because the velcros that go on the other side of this are in my old car but I think you can get by like little velcro strips off of um, Amazon so I'll get those then I have these little car outlet charger things which I don't need because there's like so many there's like two USB um connectors there's three there's two lightning connectors in the back one lightning connector in here in the little middle console thing so I don't think I need those but I'll just keep them there I like to bring those with me actually when I travel because like if you ever like rent a car or Turo a car some cars don't be having like the direct hookup for your phone right to the car so you'll be needing those so I might actually bring those in the house and put one into my little travel um, electronic thing and then I have pepper spray because yeah okay and um a little mini flashlight that I actually stole this from one of the restaurants we went to in Cabo they had these so you could read the menu because it was super dark in there and I was like um I'm taking this home because sometimes I get home and it's late at night and I'll either forget to leave the um light on for the door like the outside light and I'll be fumbling trying to find my keys in my bag or can't see where to get the key in the hole and all that craziness. I was like, sometimes you just need a little mini flashlight. So I got that. Um, the pepper spray I'm just gonna keep out. And then I have a little Lysol spray, which I guess that could fit in here too. And that's really it. This is my old car spare key that I need to drop off to BMW. I told them I was gonna bring this back last week and I didn't. So. I'm gonna bring this back um, Friday on my way to my nail appointment. Oh, and then we got this thing too. The little vent cleaner. Cute, 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 cute. So that is that. And everything fits in here perfectly. So that's all the car stuff. That's all my like beauty and hygiene stuff. And I think I'm gonna keep this in here too as a little change, um, like a little coin purse. Sometimes I just like get change back, but I don't like to keep change in my car. I don't use change. I'm like doing, it's not really a challenge. I just don't use change if I get change. I have two jars in my house, one for silver coins and one for pennies that I dump all of my change into. Um, I filled up my penny jar twice already, but this is good to have because I can just dump all the change in there instead of like having to like gather it every once in a blue I could just bring this in my house and make it easy so let's put this in perfect it fits so perfectly oh my god this is perfect and then this is the microfiber cloth that I've been using but I only have this one and of course you gotta wash this every once in a blue so I'm gonna keep these other big ones that I bought in the trunk just cause like sometimes you go to the car wash, um, the car wash that I go to is top notch, hand wash only. If you know, you know. Don't be driving your car through the machine car washes. They scratch up your paint, they dent up your car. They are, excuse me, they are very, very damaging to your car. So that's why I go to a hand car wash. Um, but every once in a blue, like, you'll leave the car wash and you'll open the door and sometimes it'll be like wet in the door jam or you'll pop open the trunk and there's like some moisture there so I use these for that too as well as in the car just wiping everything down I keep one up here in the front to wipe down the display screen um because that is always full of fingerprints which also is another thing I need to buy. I need to make a list because they have a screen protector basically made for the display in my car on Amazon. It's like 60 bucks, but I think it's worth it because it's fingerprint proof. So you won't see like all those fingerprints and stuff. And it will also protect the screen from like scratches and stuff like that. And let me put my napkins back. I like to keep a couple napkins 
in the middle console because you just never know. So I just snagged these from Nordstrom when I was there. I just pick up napkins anywhere I see them and bring them in my car. All right, so we're gonna put this stuff in the trunk. Oh, and I forgot about this thing that I got. The little screen cleaner. I'm gonna try it out. And like I said, I just filled it up with um, water. <gasps> this is like so satisfying okay that's cool i gotta put that in the car thing all right oh i forgot to put this back this one's still clean so the meat I should put. I'm gonna put the pepper spray in the side of the door because like if an emergency is really going down how am I about to like really get into this thing pull it out and be ready to go so I'm gonna put it right here in the side of the door <laughs> it makes it it's just a little bit easier this I'm gonna put here so I can remember to drop it off BMW all right, and I think we're good to go. I'm gonna quickly give you guys like a little sneak peek, show you guys everything that I set up in one second. All right, y'all, this is my new car. Just a little sneak peek. It's very, very dirty because I've been driving around in it, but like I said, this is a little, a little sneak peek for y'all. All right, so here is the inside. This is the new um, I drive eight display, which is my favorite part. This is like the one thing that I like would not budge on when I was looking for a new car. I was like, if it didn't have the new display, I wasn't getting it. And it's really hard to get this display in a 2023 um, BMW because it comes standard in most of the 2024 models. But I looked up and was able to find one. So I felt like it was meant to be the interior lighting is like flickering which is weird i guess because that's just how the camera's picking it up and it's not dark out yet so but yeah here's a little look this is what the middle console looks like this is that's where the cup holders are i got my glasses <laughs> my old spare key that i have to bring back to bmw and these are like a bunch of two dollar bills that my stepdad put in here um for good luck he does that with like every car that i get and these are the coasters that i put in they fit perfectly just like extra protection it's really not that nothing special um here i put a little trash can so i could just throw things in there just bring it in the house with me here i have my sunglasses my celine's and then i have this warby parker case which i love because you can put two pair of glasses in here so one on each side love that camera is about to die and of course the glove compartment this is the passenger side this is the back seat um i don't know if you guys can see but this is where i put the bag holders i have my purse there so that ended up working out all right and this is just the middle console where i put all that stuff have my old microfiber cloth here. Got my tripod grip in here that goes to my camera. And then these are the three pouches that I put in this one for my coins. This is the one with all the car stuff. And this is the one with my beauty slash hygiene stuff in it. So like I said, it all fits perfectly. Boom. And that is really it. So um since I've got the car, I've tinted the windows. I did that on Saturday, the day I got the car because don't nobody got time to be riding around. People be all up in your business. So I went immediately and got the um, windows tinted. And then tomorrow I am getting my brake calibers print, printed, getting my, my brake calibers painted red 
tomorrow um i tried to go today but the guy wasn't there he told me to come tomorrow and he'll be there so i'm gonna do that and then i also want to change the rims that came on the car but we'll see if that happens or not i'll of course keep you guys updated but yes this is my new car um if you don't know i had an suv bmw x5 prior to this so and this is a 2023 bmw 3 series so um it did take a little bit of adjusting going from suv back to a car but i had a 3 series prior to my x5 and i did kind of miss my car i just feel like you could just maneuver a little bit differently in a car and um rj has like a super large pickup truck so we don't really need two trucks two suvs um so i was like oh let me just get a car um yeah but that's it i am now i gotta go close the trunk <laughs> before i do anything but i am um about to head to target to pick up a couple things so i'll bring you guys there with me made it to target fun fact i was just here this morning and i'm back all right let me look at my list It is like super super busy in here. I never come at come to Target at this time, but they're like kids running around, people are loud, the music is loud. I don't know. I'm just hurry up and get what I need to get and get out of here. <laughs> 